Welcome to Take a Minute. I'm Noemi, and in these stressful times, I'm here to share some tips with stay-at-home moms, working moms, and everything in between moms. In this week's Take a Minute, we want to help you organize your home. Professional organizers share some tips. Depending on your lifestyle, habits, and tastes, there are many ways to organize your home. However, here are some effective tips from professional organizers that will help you avoid some common pitfalls. The first step is to eliminate clutter. Even though your first instinct is to go out and buy storage supplies, this should be done after you have uncluttered your home. When deciding what to keep, use the 80-20 rule. The theory here is that you only use about 20% of the stuff you have. So use the following three rules for deciding what to keep. You keep it if you have used it within the last year. You keep it if you absolutely need it or absolutely love it. You keep it if it fits into your life you want to live. So once you have uncluttered your home, you may find you won't need to buy as much storage as you originally thought. And it'll be easier to find things in an emergency or last minute situation. So now to keep it that way. Make cleaning and wiping surfaces part of your daily routine, like brushing your teeth or washing your face. Also block any surface that has become a clutter spot by setting a floral arrangement or other pretty display. This will send a clear signal that this area is no longer a dumping zone. For crafting and other hobbies, set limits for everything. If you are a crafter, buy a storage shelf or bin and keep things to the designated area available for your crafting supplies. Remember, if it doesn't fit into that area, don't buy it. Use a calendar to set a time limit for completing those DIY projects. If the date comes and goes and you still haven't completed that DIY, donate the project and any craft materials that go with it. Make things easier to put away. Experts recommend that we make everything a one-handed operation. That means using open containers with no lids or containers with pop-up lids that you can use one-handed. Remember, the fewer steps for putting things away, the better the organizing system. Don't treat your drawers like catch-alls. All drawers should have organizers in them. This allows for separating things into defined areas instead of throwing everything into one big space. Store everyday items in the top drawers or within arm's reach on the counter. Less used items should be put in lower drawers or in harder to reach cabinets. Now let's talk about your closet. Store a discard bag in your closet. Anytime you find an article of clothing that is unflattering, doesn't fit, or is otherwise unusable, place it in a bag for donation or to trade with a friend. And remember to be picky about the items you let into your home. Think twice about accepting hand-me-downs, especially if they don't really fit into your needs or wants. For more information, visit our website at www.mccallanlibrary.net, click on our catalog and type organizing for a list of books available for checkout at the McAllen Public Library. And this is Take a Minute. This has been Take a Minute. I'm Noemi with the Palmy Branch Library asking you to take a minute to take care of yourself so you can take care of your family.